so I um, I want to put this uh, on a live environment very soon but before we do I just want you guys to feel that we're also doing some UI because it's been pure bagging until now and we're going to now start moving slowly over into some front-end development so I just want to give you let's call it a teaser of how we'll use angular JS in the angular full stack and I just want you to show I just want to show you how we'll actually take um, the, the syllabuses and present them here on our page. Let me just go to the main page here. So we'll just present them here. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm just going to read it and present it. That's all for now. I just want to show you that we are moving in that direction. So don't give up on me. Okay, we will present the data and we will work with sending data back and forth from the UI from the client later on. Even with security set up, everything will be there. Don't worry. So let's just make it so that instead of what we have here with features, we're just going to have a list of all the syllabuses shown in a very basic manner. That's that's what we're going to do now. So what do I want? Well, first of all, I want to go into our code and just close the server part for a while. Okay, so this is the server folder. I'm just collapsing it. And then I'm expanding the folder here instead with the app for the client. Now, I don't want to go into this yet. We will do that. I just want you to know that the app, uh, sorry, the main page is actually the page that you're seeing right here. That's actually the main page, okay? So that's what we want to change. We want to show all the syllabuses on that page. Let me just shut these guys down, close all tabs, and let me just try and show you what's actually here on the main page. Now, if you are familiar with HTML, which I hope you are, you'll, you'll recognize a lot of the tags here, but what you'll see is there are some curly brackets here and here, and they're kind of different. They're not what we're used to seeing. Um, so what is that all about? There's also another thing called ng repeat here. Now, this is a way for us to actually use this AngularJS setup to do some specific commands or how should I put it, some specific, um, run some specific code from this controller class here inside the HTML class. Again, I don't want to go into details yet until we start really looking into Angular. But what I want to do now is, right now we're showing the list of things here. I don't want to do that. The next step, I want to show the list of syllabuses and just, again, do it very basic, nothing complex. So, we have... Um, the main JS file is for us to do routing. So when I do a slash, I'll hit the main HTML page. And um, the other thing that's important here is, of course, CSS. That's for doing the style sheets. We have uh, the HTML page I just showed you. We have some testing even. And then we have the controller here. Now the controller is the actual place where we can start calling the REST API. So this is where you're calling the REST API. Right here is where you're calling the REST API. Now we don't want to call the REST API with things anymore. We want to call it the syllabuses because that was the new API. And the response we get, we want to put that into syllabuses. Don't worry, I promise you, I'll get into details with all of this later, but I don't want to do it right now. And uh, I will even go in here and do the same if we want to make that work as well. So I'm just changing inside the main controller instead of looking for awesome things, we are now starting to talk about syllabuses. Okay, just to let you know. So what are we doing here? We're saying HTTP get, that means call this REST API. Then the response you get, you can pull out all the data. It's kind of the same way that I'm doing in Postman here if I'm doing a get. Let's just try and do it. Get here with this URL right here. Um, API syllabuses, here you see I get two syllabuses back awesome stuff uh, it's kind of the same thing that I'm doing right here in the code now I'm saying get all syllabuses the response you get put that response inside the syllabuses which is just a variable locally that's all I need to do to actually pull the data from our rest API now to present it on the site I can actually write syllabuses up here let's go into the site and right now it says in the main controller, read out syllabuses. Okay, so I'm just pointing to the syllabuses. This is kind of, if you guys know any kind of code, if you've worked with code before, this is like a for loop. I'm running over all syllabuses 
and each of them I'm going to call a syllabus. So this is kind of a way for me to say, this is a list, I know that, because if I look at Postman, I'm getting an array of syllabuses back. You can see that right here, it's an array of syllabuses. So I know I can run over them step by step. Okay, so I'm saying here, for each syllabus you find, create a UL, um, a UL um, unordered list, and inside that unordered list, we're going to do something. Let me just write syllabuses here like this. Inside that unordered list, I want to create one of these links with the tooltip. And now let's do the info should be, what should we put in here? Let's see, the info should be the title maybe? No, the education, that should be the info. Let's put that in there. Um, now I am aware that I'm kind of rushing this right now, but I just want to show you that we will move here uh, shortly. We will start to do some crazy things with this. And I want to also present the title. So let's just read this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a link here. That's for later use. I don't want to use it in this lesson. I'm going to make a link and that link is going to have a tooltip just showing the education that I'm, this syllabus is for. And then it's going to have a title. And that's all I'm going to do now. I'm going to save this and I'm going to let automatically and um, the browser refreshes and hopefully I'll see two syllabuses now and I can actually pass my mouse over. So now we actually have some UI showing the syllabus. I know it's crap right now. We'll figure that out uh, later. But I just want to show you that this is how we bind these two together and we'll get into a lot more detail right after the OpenShift setup, which is next.